Hey guys, it's Jennifer Amazon, and it's been a while since we sat down and chatted. For this video, I'm going to be combining my updates for both May and June, and there is a reason for that. Um, whew, this is kind of hard to talk about. <laughs> you know, sometimes we set goals for ourselves, and life happens, you know, life gets in the way and that's just the reality. I have a personal goal for myself for this year to refocus my energy onto my personal portfolio, uh, specifically building up one that's geared towards uh, fantasy, illustration, imaginative realism, that world. Uh, okay, now here it comes. So I didn't post a video for last month because I had a health emergency. Um, I was pregnant and found out that the pregnancy was not viable. It was an ectopic pregnancy, which means that, you know, the, which means that it wasn't where it was supposed to be. <laughs> um, the fetus was growing in the wrong spot it was actually in my fallopian tube. <sighs> yeah. So, um, so when I had found out that it was an eptopic pregnancy, I was immediately told that it had to be removed or else my life would be at risk. They gave me a shot to dissolve the pregnancy and it didn't work. A week later, I was in the emergency room having life-saving surgery and, you know, bless those surgeons and the nurses, the anesthesiologists, everyone who was taking care of me. Because of them, they had saved my life. I was internally bleeding. Uh, my fallopian tube had ruptured and, you know, the doctor literally <laughs> was very proud about it and say, you know, I did save your life. If, you had waited 10 more minutes, you would not be here. So that does something to a person, right? Uh, living on the edge of life. And it took me a couple weeks to recover. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't be left alone for a while. I couldn't walk by myself. It was very painful. It was a very traumatizing experience for me. Uh, but I survived it and I feel now more than ever a sense of I have a second shot at this life of mine and I'm really going to pour that energy back into my portfolio and certain things that seem to be so important before they're not even on my radar these things I'm not even worried about and it's actually a beautiful experience okay so <laughs> this all happened before comic-con and I know that you guys have checked out that video um, Comic-Con was about three weeks after that, three weeks after this crisis. So that was back in May when I went through this. So that I wasn't making any art at the time. I put my business on hold. I let my clients know that I'm taking a medical leave and just refocusing on my health and getting better. And just, I really took my time. I'm usually someone who's like, go, go, deadlines, I gotta do this. I've worked through fevers, guys. Like, I am such uh, a workaholic, I think. Uh, but this time, I didn't do that. I really took the time for myself to recover so that I can come back 100%. And I did. So when Comic-Con came, we had a lot to do, my sister and I, and I did get work done. So, Netheria, here it is. The book that my sister and I are writing, Christabel626, she's a fellow YouTuber, her information's down below. We're co-writing this story and we wanted to present something while we're at Comic-Con to just give a little taste of this world that we're creating. So essentially we're world building with this booklet. And I'll do a little flip through. So it gives you a little intro to our story, 
it's a really a tease. It's this book is a tease. Um, we talk about some of the symbolism, the lore. We have also some excerpts from the story itself. We talk about the towns, uh, the cities, places that you're going to explore when you read the story. And I really am proud of this little book. I love it. It's kind of adorable. We have the map. And we have information about the creators, me and my sister. So this book, uh, we, we do have it available online if you would like to purchase. It's only for a couple dollars and it will come signed to you. We essentially just want to kickstart some of the funds for this so that we can uh, put that towards our marketing. Uh, we have a website put up which is speaknetherian.com. Um, yeah, so we're just looking to uh, drum up some starter funds so that we can start promoting this, bringing this out to conventions. Um, you know, it all costs money, guys. <laughs> so if you would like to support, thank you so much in advance. And that information will be down below where you can find it. So we prepared that for Comic-Con and we had such a blast. You can find the video down below. Uh, I did a vlog sharing my experience there. And it was just what I needed, you know, after everything that was going on in my, you know, my health and all of that. It was so great to go out and connect with people, with other artists. There was a lot of great people there. Just everyone was super friendly, really chill, it was great vibes. And we had a lot of great feedback with the story and also with the Sage book that I had uh, created the art for that. So essentially I was there with two writers, which they, they share me. <laughs> I got a total of something like nine interviews while we were there. And just everyone was really excited about the story and about what was going to happen next. I've still been working in my sketchbook and if you follow me on Instagram you can see a lot of the posts there that I do. I'm just you know working on my craft, practicing my skills. I have something coming up that I am really excited about. In July the 8th I'm going to be going to the Art Out Loud live painting demonstration at the Society of Illustrators. So excited about this. That place is very important to me. I had my senior dinner there from uh, FIT. I've gone to so many shows there. They always have beautiful art shows with artists that I am in love with. So the painting demo is, I'm really excited about this because it's not often that I get to kind of break away and go on an artistic adventure like this and I'm really excited because Donato's going to be there who's insane, Greg Manchas and William Barlow and these are just you know heavy hitters in the world of illustration and being that's the world that I love to get to watch these guys paint live is going to be exciting. It's basically like a concert for artists. <laughs> In addition to that, I will also be getting a portfolio review. Ha! Huh, so I feel like I'm in back in school, guys. You know, having my portfolio looked at uh, by an amazing woman, Lauren, who is the creative director for Orbit Books, and she is really such an advocate for artists, um, particularly in the world of illustration. And she's got a lot of great information online. I'm gonna put her information down below as well as the society stuff. So if you guys are interested, you know, go check it out. Um, a lot of great resources that she offers online. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping she rips me apart and <laughs> like in a good way, you know, like I am ready to be told you know, what I need to do to get my portfolio in gear. You know, I am a teacher and I do private art lessons. You guys know this, you know, and I meet often, I meet regularly with other artists who are just building their portfolio and their skills. And I always make comments to them that, you know, I wish I could do this for myself. I wish I had someone to kind of guide me and you know, tell me what I'm doing wrong and how can I do better. You get to a certain point where 
you know, you become your own teacher. But in order to advance and to go forward, it's, it's important to check in with other people, um, particularly people that are way better than you, that have the skills that you want to master, that have the experience that can really inform you. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely going to be vlogging that day. Probably not during the interview, but I'll, I'll give you a heads up. Um, I know it's going to refuel me, recharge me. Um, just the whole experience, just talking with Lauren, watching the guys paint. I'm going to be taking my own personal notes for sure. <sighs> yeah, I do believe it's important. And I'm going to speak this to you as not just a teacher, but as an artist. Stay a student for life. Never believe that you know it all and that, because once you do have that mentality, you stop growing and your skills sort of stay stale. It's important to have an open mind for any type of education that's out there, whether someone is going to help you out whether someone's going to critique you, whether you take a class. It doesn't matter how many degrees you have or what your experience is. You have to keep growing. You have to keep learning. It's the only way you're going to get better. Um, yeah, don't be cocky. Don't think you're awesome right now, you know? And then that's it. Because <laughs> you can be even more awesome. Just open up your mind. I know where I'm at personally. And I know I got a lot to grow and I'm ready for that and I'm excited for that and every day I work towards it. One of my students told me, she's like, yeah, right, what do you have to learn? I was like, girl, a lot, okay? <laughs> I got a lot to learn and so do you, okay? So that's what's been going on with me these past two months. <sighs> Intense, I know, TMI, I don't think so. That's what this is all about. I wanted to share all this with you so that you know that, you know, life can sometimes beat you down for a little while, but if you, you let it, you can stay down and be defeated, or you can give yourself that healing time and then just come back stronger and get back to work. You know, I'm now in July and I've put together my hustle binder for the month and I refocused my goals they're not that far out of alignment to what I had set up for myself beginning of this year and I'm just gonna keep pushing forward I have a whole half of the year you know coming up and I'm really excited to do the work see the progression yeah good stuff's coming guys good stuff's coming you gotta speak the positive right so thank you again for tuning into my channel checking out what I'm doing catching up with me if you have any questions, you can always drop them down below. Make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. And hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along my art adventures. So, as always, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in a future video.